Hello, scientist. It's good to see you. Oh, wait, that's right. You have no idea who I am. I know the version of you from this world, and I don't like them. Please let me go. I haven't done anything wrong. I need to get back to my own world. You're not going anywhere, scientist. Not until we get what we want from you. And what is it? What do you want from me? How is my favorite prisoner doing? Don't play games with me, the little Kelly. I know you're not little Kerry. Ah, so you figured it out. You're not back to your normal world. You're in my world now, scientist. This is my castle. Beautiful, isn't it? It's dark and cold and I hate it. Let me go at once. I want to go back to my own world. Not a chance, science man. There's something I need you to do for me first. Then I'll think about letting you go back to your world. What do you want? Well, basically, there's a very special intergalactic space prison for supervillains, and I need you to make a key so we can open it. What? How? That's up to you, scientist. I have no idea. This is nonsense. Let me go home at once. Find a way to make the key, scientist, or die. Oh, boy. So, Romulus, how are we going to get the scientist to make us this key? He doesn't seem very confident that he can. You know as well as I do, Princess. He is more than capable to figure it out and make that key. Well then, I suggest you give him some motivation. You know what I mean. Do you mean, like, give him money? No, you idiot. Threaten him or something. I don't know. Use your imagination. I don't care how you do it. Just make sure he starts making that key. Understand? Yes, princess. Sorry. I understand. Detective, what are we going to do? What if Albus from the other world is in the hands of evil little Kelly right now as we speak? Your Highness, let's not speculate too much. We don't know anything for certain right now. But Detective, Albus told us he didn't get home safe, so that means he could be with evil little Kelly. Well, Your Highness, truth be told, yes, he could be in the hands of evil little Kelly, or he could be anywhere. All Albus told us is that he didn't get home to his world safe. He didn't say anything about evil little Kelly. Yes, detective, but you know as well as I do, judging on our past experiences, when something goes missing, it usually winds up in the hands of evil little Kelly. Okay, your highness, as I said, let's not jump to too many conclusions here. I'll go talk to Albus and see if he can pinpoint the location of the other Albus. Okay, detective, please hurry. Don't worry, Your Highness, he'll show up somewhere and we'll get him home safe. I promise. I hope so, Detective, because if he is in the hands of evil little Kelly, then we're in big, big trouble. Well, Albus, how are things? I'm sure you're going to give me some good news, right? Uh, well, Detective, it's a bit of a mixture of both. 
uh, some good news and some very bad news. Which would you like first? Okay, give me the bad news first, Albus. Ah, right. The other Albus from the alternate world didn't actually make it home safe as I said, and is in fact in evil little Kelly's castle right now as we speak, and she's probably getting him to do something pretty terrible. What? Albus, what's the good news? The good news is, I found out where he is. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is not good at all. What are we going to do, Albus? Well, to be very honest with you, Detective, I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. But I suggest you do something fast, because as you know, whatever evil little Kelly does to Albus from the other world now affects what happens in this world drastically. This day just keeps getting worse and worse. As soon as we finally stop evil little Kelly, she manages to get us again. As always, Detective. Now, we need a plan. How do we get Albus back to his own world? Yes, go on. I don't really have a plan, Detective. I told you. I was hoping you did. I thought you did. It really sounded like you had a plan the way you just made that last statement. Uh, no, Detective, I've no plan, but leave it with me. I am a genius after all. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm sure I'll come up with something. Scientist, have you made up your mind? Are you ready to make the key to the Phantom Zone, or die? Ah yes, the choice. I was very flattered with both. I think I'll decide to live, so that means I suppose I have to make this key for the Intergalactic Space Prison for supervillains, right? Ah, glad to see you made the right decision, Scientist. Yes, you're going to make us the key to the Phantom Zone. And tell me, big evil man, whatever your name is, how exactly do you expect me to make this key to the Phantom Zone without a laboratory? Oh, don't worry, scientist. We have a lab for you, ready to go. Oh, right. Ugh, I was hoping that would buy me some time, but okay. Show me this lab. Of course, scientist. Follow me.